Um, my goalkeeper would be Peter Schmeichel. I think um, he's, at the time, um, probably late 90s, he was the best goalkeeper in the world. Or during, probably during the 90s, he was the best goalkeeper in the world. Um, you know, he had everything. He, he could win games for you. His distribution was good. Um, you know, he was a winner. Um, I'm lucky enough to play with, with Edwin as well, who's, um, who would definitely get in there as well. Um, you know, he's a, he's a great goalkeeper. His distribution, his calm and influence on the team. Um, it's a very difficult decision between the two. I'd probably just, just go for Peter. What is Peter like as a person? Um, yeah, he was quite quiet away from the game. Away from the game, you know. Um, you know, he was good to have around the dressing room, but completely different from the player that you're seeing on the pitch. Um, you know, balling and shouting and and uh, just crazy. You know, like goalkeepers are, I suppose. Defence, I think right back would be Gary Neville. I think you know, the last 15 years consistently, he's been um, you know a great player for this club and for for, for England as well. Um, good going forward, good defensively, good organiser. Um, you know, had everything to, to become a, a top defender. Left back would probably be, probably be Dennis, um, just purely because, I, well, not only the player that he, he was, but I think the effect that he had on me as a young player coming in. You know, I played left wing for, for, for so many years in front of him, and the help that he gave me was good going forward. Oh, centre halves. I think I'll probably have to go for the one at the moment, uh, Ferdinand and Vidic, because I think they're, they're probably the best two centre halves in the world at the moment. And um, even though I played the likes of Pallister, Bruce, Yapstam, great centre halves, um, I'll probably go for, for Vidic and Ferdinand purely because they they would get in any team. Um, and like I say, they're probably the best two centre halves of the in the world at the moment. Midfield on the right, I'd probably have Bex. Um, it's just, his distribution is, is unbelievable. I mean, it's, it's just his right foot, it's just, just a wand. It just puts it wherever you want, and he was a great player to play with. Um, you know, if I'd play up front, I, I knew that I made a run. Um, you know, he would the, the perfect pass would, would be coming my way, and um, he worked hard, scored goals. Um, so I go for Bex on the left. I've got to pick myself. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else would, but I've got to pick myself. So um, yeah, um, there's you know obviously me and Bex played you know on on the either side of the wing um, for so many years. So it's good balance. Central midfield's a tough one. Um, I'll probably have to go for, for Keenan Scholes. Um, also, you got Paul Ince in there as well. You know, my best mate Nicky Bott. All, you know, great midfielders. But I'll probably go for Keenan Scholes. <laughs> up front is a tough one. Um, up front is a tough one. I'll probably, I'm going to go for Rooney and Hughes. I think any centre-halves, just facing them two would just be a nightmare. It would just be a nightmare. Um, you know, Sparky again, like Robbo was my hero. And he scored so many important goals for United. He was a great target man to hit for a winger. Um, Wayne, obviously, just his all-round game. Um, but that's a tough one. I mean, there's so many players who could get in Cantona. Um, it's between Cantona and Hughes, but I think um, I'll go for I'll go for Hughes just purely because he was my hero. Um, got Andy Cole, Dwight York, Teddy, Van Nistelrooy. Could put any of them in there. Um, Ronaldo. Um, there's so many. There's so many, but I'll go for them. Super sub. Um, well. Have to be Cristiano, I suppose. Um, mind you, I forgot Oli, didn't I? <laughs> no, if you want a goal, then yeah, Solskjaer. Super sub, definitely. <laughs>